Welcome back to part 5 everyone, the last time we left off Vito survived prison, now that he's out he's back at Joe's doorstep and then we're gonna carry on with the action. Here they're just catching up, Joe gives him money, gives him a gun, he gets him a new apartment so that way he's not living with him, and then we get to meet a new person to introduce us to the next part of the story. Jeez, I thought you was gonna be a no-show. Not bad, nice material. Thanks. So, uh, what's the plan for tonight? You'll find out. A friend of mine's coming to pick us up. I met him when you was on your little vacation. And show him some respect. He's kind of an important guy. Oh, yeah? You'll see in a minute. Here he comes. Hey, Joe. Hey, Eddie. Here I How's am. it going? Eh, not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, this your buddy? Yeah. This is my pal Vito. Vito, this here is a good friend of mine, Eddie Scarpa. Nice to meet you, Eddie. Same here, Vito. Okay, fellas. I'm dying for a drink. Let's go. Like I've done with the other videos, I'm just gonna make it quick. Long story short, they end up taking Vito to a 1950s version of the night of a nightclub or strip club. And then afterwards they are too drunk to do anything. Hey, where the hell is my car? Why, somebody stole it! You're staring at it, you lush. And uh, Eddie ends up having to get Fido to drive them out of town because they need to bury a dead person in his car. And then they just, Fido drives them back, even though it's supposed to be his night out. You're a good man, Fido. I'll settle up with you tomorrow. What the fuck? Hey, Vito, rise and shine. Jesus. Marty, stop fucking yelling, will you? My head's killing me. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Joey. And stop calling me fucking Joey. What the hell's wrong with you? Vito, come on down. Jesus Christ. My spidey sense is telling me we might go to war today, so I'm going to be wearing the army suit. Who the hell was that? That guy's got a voice like Woody fucking Woodpecker. That was Marty. Remember the little kid you slipped down the street from me? I had to pick up the truck here, so he gave me a lift. What's going on with the truck? It's gonna make us some nice cash. Hop in. I'll explain on the way. You drive. Where to? Riverside. All right, Riverside it is. This is my note voice interjecting. We're basically just gonna be selling cigarettes. But before we do, roll a clip. Not yet. What's the situation on the ground today, right now, in the mall? Confusion. Instability. Vacuum at the top. What caused the decline? Your sister's ass. And it could what now? Now we take care of our customers. These guys here buy in bulk from us. Come with me. Okay, climb up and hand me the goods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Party eight frames and a total net. Doing great today. We're making some serious dough here. The wins, but I'm not a winner yet. Yeah. If we try to make a pass, I'm an innocent. Put a dog up in the car, but I ain't bring a pet. What you selling, Mac? You buying or just window shopping? Maybe. We're selling smokes. Two bucks a carton, hundred bucks a crate. I'll make you a deal. You fuck over ten cartons and maybe we'll let you and your buddy get out of here in one piece. Hey, look, pal. How about you get back in your cute little car with your little friends there and I'll pretend I never seen you. Sound good? <laughs> you don't get it, do you, you fat motherfucker? This is our turf. And it's gonna cost you to operate here. Now pay up. You're the one who doesn't get it. You have any idea who you're talking to? One last chance. You walk away now and... Yeah, I'll tell you who I'm talking to. A fat two-bit fucking Dago door-to-door -door salesman hocking stolen cigarettes on my turf. And it's time to close up shop, asshole. Okay, boys. I think it's time for a fire sale. Shit. Joseph. Oh, fuck. <laughs> what do you say now, Porky? What do I gotta say? That's what I Come on, hop in that car and let's go. If it is war they want, it is war they shall have. Alright, let's get one of these fucks and teach them a lesson.
Eddie, it's me, Vito. Listen, we got a problem. We were moving the smokes, and then these uh, these greasers came out of nowhere and set the fucking truck on fire. What? You fucking kidding me? All right, we popped one of the guys, but... What do I fucking care? Just bring me my money. I paid two grand for that truck, and I want it back. Lucky for you two retards, I got Derek's guy Steve here with me. And we were just talking about what to do with those punks. We're gonna take care of them now. Steve will meet you at the Crazy Horse. You know it? Okay. Crazy Horse. Yeah, I know where it is. Steve's gonna have a few guys with him. Show him that nobody fucks with us. No shooting, though, so it looks like just another gang fight. I don't want to read about a bloodbath in the papers tomorrow. All right, sure, Eddie. Don't worry. We'll take care of it. Hey, Steve. Hey. Hey, guys. Artie? What are you doing here? Hey, Joe. I'm going with you on this one. Steve needed help. He said I could come along. Steve, uh, isn't this, Man, uh... Kids gotta learn sometime. Okay. Why are we here, Steve, huh? The guys we're looking for are all headed to the foundry. This is where they usually meet, so we'll start here, then head over to the foundry to finish the job. And, uh, why'd you volunteer to help us? Those bastards trashed my cousin's car. They robbed him and knocked out three of his teeth. Yeah, those fucking assholes. They make problems all over the city. What'd you Shut up, kid. I'm talking here. So, like the Bible says, an eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. And, well, we'll just start with this joint. So what's the plan? First, we're gonna trash this place. And how are we gonna do that? With this. Go ahead, boys. Hey, come on, guys. <laughs> now you can either help us or stay out of our way. <laughs> Let's go teach these fuckers a lesson. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Hey, how'd you get in here? We followed the fucking yellow brick road. <laughs> Next. Ha, <laughs> nice one. You fuckers are dead. Joe, watch out! <gasps> Thanks, kid. Shit, they got guns! Let them have it! We go to war! Mother always said food before battle. Listen, this got way out of hand. Eddie's not gonna be too happy. Eddie'll be fine. What are we gonna do? Just let him kill us? These fucking dirtbags won't be bothering nobody. No more. What now, Steve? Now I'm gonna go home and see if that castor oil's working. I've been blocked up for weeks. I'll see you later. Joey, Joe and I still got a lot of work to do. We'll catch you later. At this point in the mission, Vader comes up with the idea that if we sell these cars to Derek, the fat man, we'll get 2,000 bucks for each car and then we'll be able to pay back Eddie. And I'm just gonna end it there with the final cutscene and I'll catch you guys on the next one. So? Is the money. Well, that's a fucking relief. Stupid fucking junkies. Now they know their place. Good work, boys. Here's your cat. Thanks, Eddie. So, you need anything else from us today, or is that it? I got something I gotta take care of. No, 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 that's all for today. I'll call you if I need anything.